What's up guys, Aiden here, Aiden's Lawn Landscape, and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're gonna be doing a what's in the garage, all the different types of fertilizer I've got for the rest of this year, an update on double dark for the lawn. And I'm here with Garrett with Falcon Hands Lawn Care. I will put a tag up for his Instagram on the screen. How you doing? Pretty good. Good. Um, we took everything off of this wall and we've got a, a little shelving unit like that. One of those ones you can clip into. We're gonna go ahead and uh, hang up on this wall, maybe get this area a little bit more organized. Everything out there on there. Yep, everything out there that was in this area, up on here. But um, let's get to work. See you there. All right, guys, we are finished. It looks really good. It's so much better organized. Everything's nice and organized. Don't you agree? Yeah, yep. pretty much. Yeah, it looks really good. Much better, although we do have some holes in the wall. No big deal. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go over our garage setup for this year. All right, guys, it's a beautiful day today. I'm out in the lawn, but I wanted to point something out to you. See this cluster of grass? right here it's standing significantly taller than everything else i've mowed see that right there this is why it's important to come in here with your rake and rake all your grass tall because i was noticing brown streaks like see that right there it's a little bit taller i was noticing brown streaks from last week like come in here and i'm just gonna rake through the entire thing and get it standing nice and tall, like even here, watch. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see that needs to be cut. But even in this ditch, watch this. This is sad, because I haven't done this in forever in this ditch. Yeah, see? And then you can open up down to your root zone and you can see all that dead grass down there because you're not standing this stuff up. So, it's always important to get down to your lawn and rake it up so that you can get everything standing tall and keep your root zone open and free from air. So let's go ahead, give it a rake and give it a cut. Okay guys, it, it looks way better. You can just you can just tell that it's less patchy. The lines that I had from last week are not as flat anymore. I mean, you can still tell they're there a little bit right there. But after we irrigate, you won't be able to tell they're even there. So it is a very important practice to do to open up your soil. It's kind of like dethatching, honestly. But uh, it's a simple, easy practice you should be doing more often than I expected. And I was like, wow. I didn't realize. So now I can actually get seed down in there. Wait, what? Haha, ha, you'll have to wait till the fall to find out more. But, um, yeah. So it looks really, really good. This is definitely a practice I'm going to probably do three times a year, honestly. Beginning of the spring, midsummer, and then probably the fall, honestly. But it looks really good. So just wanted to bring you guys out here and show you that quick little tip. Hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys enjoyed. You all probably wanted your update on double dark in the yard. You are probably like, dude, what the heck? So, I guess I'll give it to you. Let's go. Okay guys, so here is the current state of the lawn after I applied double dark. You can't tell much of a difference, but uh, here's how it looks. It's got uh, really holding some nice color for the summer. And uh, as you can see in here, there's a little bit of like a tip stain, but uh, it's not too bad. It's just in this area you're looking at there where I pointed my hand. But um, other than that, the color's holding really well. And um, other than that, it's looking great.
All right, guys, we are back on another day and we are here to film what's in my garage. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the products I've been using this year and I'll continue to use next year. So without further ado, let's get into the garage, find out what we got. See you guys there. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got tons of products in the garage, including from the next line, we've got RGS, Aerate, Dethatch, Microgreen, 700 Green Effect. We've also got Humic. Yeah, and I think that's everything, except we have doubles of a few things. Anyway, we also have the 0150 uh, sprayer, the hose end sprayer from um, Simple Lawn Solutions. We also have their uh, liquid aeration product, along with their Humic and Fulvic product. We will be testing those out hopefully this fall, if not in the spring. We also have two three pound bags of granular uh, hydrotain and two hose end sprayers from them. You guys will have to wait till the fall to find out what we're gonna go ahead and be doing with those. We also have one bag of malorganite left, which we will be finishing off this fall and moving on to something else. But you also have to wait till the fall to find out. And um, then we also have a bag of weed preventer, or not weed preventer, uh, crabgrass preventer for the spring and we also have a fall a bag of fall what's that fall like pre-emergent i guess you could say which we may or may not use this fall so i hope you guys enjoy this video with that i'm aiden from maze lawn landscaping thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace another section along the side is getting um seed and it's going to be going all liquid with the next stuff so john perry just sh shipped me another box of the seed starter which has got the green pop the uh 1801 the 901 and we're going to be using complete liquid on this section solid so the green pop i don't even have any yet you have that before i do yeah thanks john perry for sending aiden some green pop before he sent it to me <laughs> yeah